hi you guys we are back again with another tutorial today's video is sponsored by eula hair they have kindly sent over a 5x5 hd lace closure along with three by the way bundles 24 22 and 20 inch stay tuned and i'll be sharing with you all of the details the package arrived in this black silk bag and of course their logo is on the packaging when i received the package even the weight on it you could tell that it was good quality and if you know anything about here the weight and the density matters they also sent over three pretty bowls and in the packaging you will get a stocking cap in this one it had black also they do send over their manual as well so that you could kind of see and they do offer you a discount along with free hair if you share a review of their brand and also they do have a wide variety of wigs bundles closures and all textures so even if you don't wear by the wave they do have other options as well and they also sent over a nice silk bonnet and a melt a lace melt band which will definitely help you and maintain your baby hairs or to keep your lace down but you can also use this silk bonnet if you decide to keep your bundles in your head or for your install it's very protective and it's nice um i do like the fact that they took their time to send that over as well as a complimentary gift so out of the box this is how the bundles look and they are gorgeous and you can see the lace is very very transparent you can't see it's invisible and you can also see that the quality like straight out of the pack it is very very nice and silky i like to run my fingers through the hair because that lets me know how it will tangle or if you get any snags it really really plays a very very good part in everything whenever you are doing an install whenever you unravel these bundles you don't want that hair tangling up on the ends but this hair i did not have any trouble at all so i did have to go in and bleach this lace closure and i do have a video that i will link with the bleaching process of any lace closure that you have or frontal and you can see how well this lace closure blends in with my skin with no tinting or makeup involved most of the time i don't even use makeup whenever i'm doing when i'm dealing with the hd lace but now i'm going to go ahead and apply this lace closure to the cap and of course use your t-pins to put this down but be very very careful with this hd because you can rip a hole it's very very fragile so please be careful I really love the quality of their closures this is my second time using their product as a sponsorship but also i've been referring my clients as well and they've been using their hair and i've had no trouble no shedding you do not have to worry about that you it's a very trusted brand and it's very affordable so now I'm going to go ahead and begin sewing down my lace closure. And I always like to start in the back. Like I always tell you guys, this helps to keep any humps or bumps out of the lace closure. Then put it, pull it a little bit tight. But again, make sure that you be very careful. HD is very fragile. During the bleaching process, I didn't have any trouble at all whenever I did that process. The knots bleach very, very nice. And what I like the most, whenever you get a lace closure, you want those knots to be very, very small. This is going to help it look more realistic whenever you apply it to the head. I didn't have to, I didn't see any knots that were big. So that was a good bonus for me. Like that's one of the main things that I look for whenever I'm getting lace closures and the density. If you're going to do a half up, half down, you want that lace closure to be thick enough, even though you will have to add a extra barrier, which I will show you guys later in the video. But for this, even without a extra bundle, you you still have that thick density so now i'm going to go ahead and begin laying down that first track and i did start off with my 24 inch when i apply i do pay attention to the ends of the hair 
if you get longer bundles they tend to be thinner on the ends but i noticed with these bundles they were thick all the way down i didn't see any of the cuticles sticking out i didn't see any flower hairs when i cut the bundles i didn't the hair didn't fray away sometimes when you cut the bundles because sometimes you may get a person they'll say hey i don't want my bundles cut whenever you cut the bundles the hair tends to come out sometimes but i didn't have any extra or you know extreme shedding whenever i cut the um cut the track so from there all you're going to do is just begin gluing this is by far one of the easiest layouts whenever you're laying down these tracks you're just going to go from side to side what i love love about using a bigger closure a five by five which is what they provided hd it takes up majority of the entire top of the head so you don't have much you know you don't have much work to do besides just lay down the tracks also it gives you more room to lay down more tracks so you will be putting those bundles in that small amount of space so it will be thicker and sometimes people use four bundles or five bundles but it all depends on you but definitely three bundles is a is enough the density is very very important and i think they by far have exceeded that expectation if you are enjoying this video, please be sure that you go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, leave your comments in the description box on any future tutorials that you would like to see. I don't mind. I love hearing from you guys. It's very, very important because you are important to the community. Thank you guys so, so much. After you're done laying down your tracks, you're going to go ahead and section off where you want your ponytail to be. You want to kind of do a half inch so that you can cover the tracks. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my foam wrap lotion to mold everything down in place. And this is going to help you realign that hair in the direction that you want it to go. Also go ahead and section off your bang and you do want it kind of thick if you're going to go for this style so because you will have to make sure that it's thick enough to get that effect because if you don't do enough it's going to look very, very thin so just take out as much as you need. After you section off the hair, you're going to go ahead and begin molding down your ponytail and you can do this in the way that you like. Just make sure that you don't have it blended in with the rest of the hair. After you are done, you will need to put it underneath the dryer so that it's completely dry. When it's done, you will just comb it out and you can use any type of serum or any hairspray to loosen this up. So try not to overdo your foam wrap lotion because it will get hard, but again you do as much as you want however much you think you need so you are going to clip away your bangs so that you don't have to worry about them getting in the way when you are doing your styling process and again you want these bangs to be very thick and i really appreciate eula for providing this great closure it's very thick i love the way that it blends Whenever you put the product on the hair, you don't want to weigh it down. So you're going to use a lightweight sheen or a lightweight serum. When I put it on the hair, the hair was silky soft. I knew right then and there the curls were going to be flawless. When you use the hot comb, it's going to straighten everything out. So then you will be able to see exactly what that hair is going to look like after it's laid. This is going to help redirect that hair in place, especially for a ponytail or anything of that sort. It also helps to kill some of the frizz after you put the foam wrap lotion on. But again, this hair is very, very nice. I love the fact that whenever I went through it with the fine tooth comb, I did not have to worry about any tangles or any shedding. So I'm going to do my first curl and I noticed whenever I put that curling iron on the hair, 
none of the cuticle hairs were sticking out. A lot of the time when you get these bundles, you'll see fray hairs coming up from different places if it's not great quality, but these are great quality bundles. So you will see that whenever you curl the hair, the curls will stay. And I did wore this unit for about a week without curling it at all and even after a week the curls were still there after that the curls just kind of went into that natural wavy state and it still was nice even without the curls so i did notice like whenever you do put the curls in you do want to clip them because you don't want your curls to be looser by the time you get to the top because this curling process did take a while because this hair is thick you don't want to take too much time and then whenever you get to the end the curls at the bottoms are hanging lower so you want that even curl pattern by the time you're done curling all of the hair but i'm using a one and a half inch barrel curling iron this is going to give that luxury beach wave type of look and it will also define the curl pattern that's already in the hair now whenever you get ready to put that ponytail in you may want to use a little bit of holding spray because this hair is very silky so you may experience some buckling of the hair whenever you get ready to put that ponytail in because i did notice that whenever i was trying to do it the hair was so soft but i'm going to try to do the best that i can and you could do that as well but i try not to use too much hair product on bundles because it will get hard and you don't want anything to start flaking so as you can see right here how i'm putting on the twist tie and it's some i mean and it's really it's really really hard to try to keep that hair straight and flat down but i did try to do the best that i could do because i did not want to keep adding any product to the hair so as you can see the density of this ponytail is a little bit thin and the only reason that it's this thin is because you took most of the hair out for the bang area but that's nothing that can't be solved so all i'm going to do is take a little bit of the the last remaining bundle and i'm going to wrap it around the ponytail and i place the glue on the hair tie of the ponytail because i did not want to get any of the glue on the actual hair in the lace and all you want to do is go around and around and you want to be careful because again like i said this hair is so silky so i noticed whenever i was wrapping it because i know that i'm not going to continue to keep this style i did not add any extra glue now if you know that this is something you're going to keep you can put glue on the track as you're going around but i did not and that's just an option because i did not want to um you know keep adding so much glue because it will be hard to take apart whenever you want to restyle it but yeah this is all you're going to do this is going to add that thickness to the ponytail and you will see at the end how it'll look because without it you won't be able to get that full curl effect you're going to begin curling this ponytail and you're going to be careful to do not pull it too tight now if you are going to glue it down it'll be more secure but on this tutorial i did not do that because i will be taking it right back out but you get the gist of what i'm doing so just curl it so that it blends in with the rest of the hair So to finish up, you are going to begin curling your bangs. And I like to do this lastly because like I said, it, when you are using fresh bundles, sometimes those curls tend to fall quicker. But with this hair, it did held up fine. I really did not have any issues. So you're going to cut a little bit of layers into those bangs because honestly, it's too long to get that layered effect that everyone is doing now. And this is also something, a different a way that you could do your curtain bangs if you're interested in that. You could do this as well. 
but all you're going to do is just take those curling irons and curl it in the direction of the way that the rest of the curls is going and to redirect that hair you're always going to use a hot comb so that it goes in the direction that you want it to go Now that I'm done, I'm going to go in with my holding spray and I'm going to be using a HD stocking cap to lay this down. It is very, very important that you use a good stocking cap that will be seamless underneath that lace because HD lace, you can see everything <laughs> underneath. So you want to make sure everything is invisible. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that stocking cap. Make sure that it's completely dry because if it's not, that stocking cap will begin to roll back whenever you cut that stocking cap off the front. So just take your time and do this. And you can use any product that you want to, but for me, I always use a holding spray because it dries quick. As you can see, the lace is completely invisible. You cannot detect where this lace starts and stops. So whenever you do cut this, be careful. Use an eyebrow razor or you can use the zigzag scissors to do this. So just one thing, do not cut this lace straight across because you will see it. When you do it with a razor or a jagged edge, it is very undetectable. And again, this hair is very, very good quality. The lace is good quality and affordable to each and every one. So if you want to purchase this hair, you can utilize the description box to get the code. They do offer you a discount as well. And they also offer you free hair in exchange for a review of their brand. So yeah. And I am going to wear this completely glueless. The wig fit snug on my head. I did not have to worry about it being loose. Um, Because honestly, I did not have to apply anything to lay this lace down. It's completely glueless. So this is the curl straight out of the clips. I did not do anything else to it. I am running my hands through it. Like I said, whenever you clip these curls, they do hold very, very nicely. Even after a week, I said before, the curls were still there. It had like a nice body wave, natural look to it. I did not have to do any extra curling. The curls hold very, very nicely. And your ultimate test whenever you are using bundles is to use a comb and comb those bundles out if the curls are still there and it has a nice body wave to it and it doesn't fall out, you have a good grade of hair. Because there are a lot of bundles out here where once you do this, the curls are gone. But with this, I did not have to worry about that. I combed it out and it looked very, very nice. It gave me that body wave look that I was looking for now if you're not going to put the bow on your hair you are going to want to wrap a piece of the track around the top of this ponytail so that it has a seamless look so that you do not see the track but these are the bows that they sent along with the hair and I do want to show you guys how that looks so if you're going to do a bow you do not have to really go in and wrap that hair around the bundle and again I didn't do it because I knew that I was not going to keep this style but for the tutorial purposes I did want to show you guys and these bowls are in now I see a lot of people online that are wearing them and you can purchase these also from Eula hair online yes this is how it looks this is the final look thank you guys so much for tuning into this tutorial all the information that you need will be linked in the description box don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you